Welcome to Off the Press uh, this morning. We will be taking a look at a couple of newspapers and try to make sense of it or give you the headlines as we begin this morning with the Punch newspaper. It will be displayed uh, shortly. And it says, Nigeria, South Africa and others seek debt relief from World Bank. That story is on page 23. Uh, Nigeria's total public debt rises to 27.4 trillion naira on page 34. Banks recorded 1.5 trillion naira bad loans in 2019, according to the Bureau of Statistics. That story also, you can find it on page 23. And ignore new fell price, Ipman tells marketers. That story also is on page 23, and that's from Kanu State. And the federal government reviews lockdown as COVID-19 cases rises by 35. That's on the front page, but it's continued on the page on page two of the Punch newspaper. It says also that food markets are now to open 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. every other day. And the nine cases surface in Oshun, seven in FCT, and the whole total case as at today, as so at this morning, or as this time, press time is 174. If you scroll down, uh, you're going to see picture story there, I believe is of security personnel trying to man the lockdown. Um, we will skin your alive soldiers threaten punch man on page 11. Uh, you find that story on page page 11 of the punch newspaper. And the kitty court convicts two Egyptians and others for flouting lockdown. The story is on page 10. And mother of three jumps into ocean, river, and sides hard times. Two die as rainstorm wrecks havoc in Ondo, Enugu, and Nasarawa. That's to, those stories are on pages 4 and 5 of the Punch newspaper. And the federal government distributes 20,000 naira to 5,000 household in FCT. That story is also continued, is on page 24. Olowo and ex-AGF oppose sitting of isolation center in Obasanjo Hilltop on page 13. Now let's take, take a look at some of these stories, you know, generally. Especially we would look at um, a kitty court convicting two Egyptians and others who for flouting lockdown. I mean, the federal government has put in the order there for everyone to stay at home, not necessarily because people want to, but because uh, we need to contain, curtail the virus. And it's as well that people uh, keep heed of that, in, in that order so we'll be able to conquer COVID-19 together as a people and as a nation. Uh, federal government reviews lockdown as COVID-19 cases rise by 35, and that's a bit of uh, good news. Uh, yesterday, we had our own reporter, Mirichinda, who went about the streets of Lagos, and of course, our own correspondents from Abuja, and tried to uh, tell us about the compliance level. And part of the things we heard from Nigerians are the fact that some people are not even prepared to stock up their homes with food items, you know. Uh, so the, the notice for them was quite short. So with this review, it's a bit of good news because according to this information, food markets would now be open uh, by from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. every day. So if you need to stock up your home, you might as well leave and be there by 10 a.m. And whatever you do, be back to your homes by 2 p.m. every other day uh, so that we will be able to curtail the spread of COVID-19 as a nation. Um, I think that will be it. Fortunately, we have the story of mother of three who jumps into Oshun River and cites hard times. Uh, that's quite unfortunate uh, there. Uh, we continue now with federal government distributes 20,000 naira to 5,000 uh, households in FCT. That story is on page 24. Much as that is good news, but we beg the question, how do you uh, identify this household? How sure are we that the needy of the nation would be beneficiaries of this initiative? Those will be the questions. Uh, but however, uh, the federal government have commenced already 20,000 naira to 5,000 households. And uh, that, that's not so much to get anyways, if you do the math. However, we would say uh, something is already been done in the interest of the people during this uh, time. Uh, two die as rainstorm wrecks havoc in Undo and Enugu will urge you to get this, uh, the Punch newspaper and um, see for yourself what this is about. 
we would also take a look at the Guardian newspaper. Uh, it will be displayed. COVID-19 cases hit 174 despite 50 measures uh, by presidency. It will be displayed, I believe, and right on top, UN and World Health Organization and WTO alert to looming global food crisis amid COVID-19. Uh, we, we, can, we can almost preempt that that will be the situation. With, with everybody locked in, farmers are not able to you know, go to their farms. In most cases, uh, we are really in a tough situation there. So World Health Organization is already putting out the warning to everyone. Now, fear grips Oshun residents as coronavirus cases rise to 14. Much as we are committed uh, in spreading the news, um, we are we're also concerned about the effect of fears. Yesterday here on Plus TV Africa, we had a psychologist, uh, Niri Mang, who joined us from the University of Jos. And part of the things he said is, we need to be careful during this period. Uh, it is trying, indeed, it's quite trying times, but fear should not go ahead of the people. Much as we try to give the information, uh, fear has uh, you know, a place that uh, can even get more people sick and more people worried. Uh, we understand the situation, but again, it's also important to keep our sanity and to watch the news carefully. Now, Bauchi confirms third coronavirus case and declares 14 days lockdown. That's joining Lagos State and Ogun State that would begin theirs, of course, tomorrow uh, by 11 p.m. Ogun State begins theirs. So Bauchi is joining Lagos State, Ogun State, and Oshun State who are already on the, temp the, the lockdown, which again, we heard in the news this morning, has been relaxed uh, temporarily by the government, giving people a opportunity to be able to go at certain times to be able to, of course, uh, get food items and necessary essentials uh, during this time. And marketers give terms for selling petrol at 123 Naira 50 Cobble. Um, in the news again, Ipman, which is from uh, Kano State, has said that its members would not would ignore the call to sell at 123 uh, 50 Cobble. Um, during this time, the citing previous uh, situation where the, the federal government gave such kind of sudden announcement and they lost 5.5 billion naira. I think this situation also begs the question, you know, our level of communication and preparedness, uh, how do we deal with such situations? So we'll see how that turns out in the coming days. Again, uh, that story is on the front page, but it's continued on page six if you're able to grab a copy of the Guardian newspaper. We equally have picture stories of uh, um, the policemen trying to enforce lockdown. Uh, you can see that uh, picture story. And that brings us to, again, the information today in the news uh, where the security personnel are also being told the difference between a lockdown during pandemics like this and a lockdown during, say, elections. So it means that uh, there must be a level of respect and understanding when you know dealing with citizens who must go out, those who need to go out, who must go out. So there must be respect and you know handle it in the right way, as opposed to harassment, you know, in certain cases. And that will be it uh, for the guard newspaper and lastly will be the nation newspaper and I believe it will be displayed uh, very soon by the team uh, the crew it says CBN coalition raised 15.32 billion naira to fight uh, the virus uh, please for more cash and that's a noble uh, noble decision we are seeing there and then we have the story of uh, Governor Shay Mackinday, my COVID-19 story, why no lockdown yet? And that story would be interesting, um, page 29. A lot of people have come out to say that, even in the announcement when he announced uh, his result to pos uh, testing positive, COVID-19, that he was quite positive even in the way that he made the announcement. We wish him, of course, quick recovery. And you want to grab a copy of the Nation newspaper to find out what, uh, how he's coping with it. Salawa shares, uh, well, nude photos to block Black Mila. Akura explosion, I didn't know I carried explosive. That's on page 29 of the Nation newspaper. And then presidency to Shoinka, virus about science, not fiction. 
Yesterday we saw that there was a bit of uh, disagreement between him and the presidency. And there's a response this morning. And uh, Jets Bomb Bandits, uh, that's on page two. I, unfortunately, you can clearly see the letters there. Now, foreign returnees import 12 COVID-19 cases into Oshun State. Um, this is worrying when we keep hearing, you know, uh, the situation of imported cases. Thankfully, our bodies, some bodies have been closed, and of course, our international airports and some local uh, flights also have been banned. Just to see that we contain, we are able to fight this together as a people, as we are already in a global pandemic of coronavirus. And state six federal government support results of 56 persons uh, expected today. Aquaibum gets five cases as the national tally rises to 174. And to the right of the nation newspaper, we have a bit of uh, statistics there. We put the COVID-19 um, global cases at 926,625, uh, with the deaths uh, as, uh, at 46,438. And then to your right is uh, Nigeria, precisely, with 174 cases, uh, but we have two deaths. Uh, I'm surprised that they didn't put the recoveries. By the way, there, there are some recoveries also uh, in, of COVID-19, it's, it's important to also let people know that, yes, it is a virus, but yes, there are recoveries also. And so, yes, there are reports of recovery. Somehow it's uh, not highlighted there. But yes, we do have rec reports of uh, recoveries. Nigeria and others seek $100 billion uh, debt relief. That story is on the front page of the nation newspaper, but it's continued uh, somewhere inside the newspaper. And uh, finally, Ibman to commence sale of petrol at 900 and 123 uh, points, 123.50 cobble per litre, and six die, unfortunately, as truck hits car. Uh, unfortunately, that's all we are able to take today, and we'll wrap up. Thank you for joining us uh, today here on the Newspaper Review. We'll do this again uh, from Monday to Friday here on Plus TV Africa 8.30. I am Amaka Okoye saying, please stay safe.